Welcome. Um, so today's lecture, we have uh, a couple of things that we we'll want to learn and to put as part of uh, the content that we want to work with. And we'll also look into some of the context of uh, what we're expected to do. Uh, so maybe before we get started with um, our content, we are working with code block, but there's some things that we want to work with that uh, maybe we might just need to take note of so that uh, at least we are pretty much on the same page. So these are some of the things that we would want to have. Uh, we would want to have uh, better understanding C++ also PHP concepts where we would need to know what a class does so we need more content on the class we would also need to understand functions we also need to understand files, how we can work with files and how we can work. So some of these things uh, uh, have uh, a few drafts on how we can work with some of these things and how we should be able to understand how we work. Um, as we know, we simply use the class word and then we name the class, let's say it's detail. Uh, from there, we then also need to have uh, the following, which is uh, the brackets and the semicolon is important for our class. So this is we need that. At the same time, we can put public as a keyword, whereby we put public structures that we want within our class. So this then means all access to this section okay and then we've got private which then gives us limited access to this section uh, from there we then move on to our main where our main will have the following content or the following context we need to then call our class. So our class, we call it by giving the name, the full name of the class, and then we have a, an identifier, which can be uh, D1, which becomes our class identifier. And then at the same time, we can then be able to call any elements that are within our class. So if we've got a value that is in the public section, we can then call it using our D1. So let's say the value that we want is D1 dot names, for example. We can then call names from the public section of our class. If we want to access anything that is in the private section so let's say we come to our private and our private section we've got a name right but in our public section we've got names we then need to make sure that in our names we can be able to access our name and then view that uh, value or that component within our main class or within that actual class so that's how we then work with it and that's how we use our classes for whatever element that we might want to do at the same time it's not limited to only one class we can have another class that we call class cars for example our cars is then a new class that we can then reference within our main and say cars as you go to C1, this then means we are identifying a class car and a class um, details. All this being part of uh, 
our classes and how we can work with our classes. So let's get into a, a quick example of how we can work with this. But in this particular instance, we want to then work with what is called a constructor and what is called a destructor. In its simplest form, a constructor creates the object and a destructor destroys the object. So that's uh, what our constructor and our destructor mainly does. And we can be able to work with these as we progress with our learning. So let's uh, create our content. We want to create a class and uh, we want to have this project called constructor and destructor class. So we have construct const destruct destruct. Okay. So these are the contents that we want to have. And with these contents, or with this contents, we want to be able to see how these elements can actually be done. So um, let's maybe put some comment there, whereby we specify what each element here is doing. So we want to create an object and destroy the same object okay so here's how we would then work with it we want to work with this uh, as simply as is possible so we want to have uh, a few elements uh, the first being the class itself and the next being um, the variations within that particular class. So we want to have a class and we want to call it um, dog value. That's what we'll call our, our class. And with our dog value, we want to have the following. We want to have a public where our public gives us a dog value, uh, which will be a function. And we also have a dog value. Uh, but this particular dog value will have that sign to show the following. Um, this first element becomes our constructor. This next element becomes our destructor. Uh, this will all make sense in a bit uh, as we are just naming our elements so that we know what our elements will be working with. And uh, we then want to get uh, the private value. Uh, and the private value would be int age like that. So we want to get the age of this dog. We also want to create the dog. We also want to destroy the dog. So uh, we then come outside of our class and then we create our functions. So this section will have our functions and each of these functions will be as follows. 
we want our log value. Uh, we have two columns and then we get a constructor. Uh, we open and we close brackets. We do the same for the next one. But for the second one, we then want to make the destructor visible and the constructor also visible. So in other words, uh, we are then working with the constructor and the destructor of each of our values. So from there, we then want to make uh, some content clear within um, our classes, whereby uh, the first element gives us our constructor and then the age. So we then say age, we want this to be equal to six, and then we want to see out. We then want to say following constructor constructor section. We then put a colon a new line and then outside of this we then get the age uh, outside of that we put an end line and then we put a semicolon okay so maybe after this we need to have um, it's rather the dogs age is a semicolon we'll put a space so that we get this is the constructor section we want to get the dog's age is and then we get the dog's age uh, and then we want the destructor so what this basically means is as we're calling the destructor we don't want to get a value we just want to know that the destructor has been called and the function itself has been removed or has been destroyed so at this particular point it then means that uh, we can't use the destructor after this point so we can simply state that destructor has been called Okay, so at this particular instance, okay, we need to remove that. This truck. Like that, I think that's the better spelling. So at this particular instance, we have called the destructor and nothing has changed or although rather we then need to see what this gives us and then we can be able to make comments on the particular setup or the particular instance that uh, we would be having as part of our uh, class okay so let's get into our main content. So we want dog value, and we then want to create an identifier, which can be Rex. Rex becomes the identifier that we want to use. And then we want to be able to get to use Rex within our context. So we put Rex, and then we put an asterisk. We then get to say p dog equals to new 
dog value like that from there we then want to call the elements of our dog value or rather we are then saying at this particular instance we are calling our class and whatever is within our classes is what will then be displayed outside of that the moment we have finished working with our class we then want to say c out using the delete to remove the class so uh, we then come to the next part which is delete and then we want to delete p dog and as you can see there it has given me that p dog is our rex and then we come to our c out and then with our c out we want to know class setup now complete right so as it stands we've done most of uh, our code or done our code in its simplest form let's run it and see what it gives us so uh, Okay, we seem to have a glitch there. Sorry, I had made a very, very, very big mistake. I had made a very, very big mistake. Um, the reason why we got the error, let me just start from there. The reason why we got the error is because of the following. Let me just view the errors. You always need to have your errors close by. As you can see, it says P dog was not declared in this scope, and then also uh, the error for delete. Uh, we are getting it at the same time. What uh, it is complaining about is this particular instance. This is now our identifier, which is not our class. So if we are using our identifier, we then don't get to use our class. To correct this error, we just need to put dog value. And then we put our p dog is equal to new dog value. So if we run it, now we should be able to get the proper uh, running of our class. And uh, we then get the following uh, the constructor section, our dog, the dog's age is six. I don't know why it repeated that. Uh, we're removing uh, to delete the class. Uh, destructor has been called. Uh, class setup now uh, complete and destructor has been called. I'm not sure why it's um, running this twice, but in general, uh, this is what we are supposed to then get. Let's explain the code a bit before we close up our lesson. Um, here's how it's worked. We are creating our class here, which is our dog value, and our dog value has a public where we've got our constructor which is our dog value we've got our destructor which is also our dog value we've got our private which is the age um from there these aspects can be accessed based on where each element is so the moment we've got our dog value which is our class and our dog value which is our function we are simply saying these should interact how do they interact? They just go to our class and look for the values that have been declared. So for example, our variable age is within our dog value. So we can use it in the function dog value. And then this then gives us the dog's age. And we can use that in our um, C out. At the same time, if we go to our dog value again, which is our destructor, 
all this simply does is it destroys the function dog value. If we then come to our main section, we are then saying dog value rex, which is our identifier. This is our identifier. Uh, and then we've got uh, calling our class, which is dog value is equal to p dog is equal to new dog value. If you remember this, this is saying uh, that's a, 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 a pointer. So we're actually pointing to a new section of our dog value. And then from there, we want to delete and then we use delete p dog. And then uh, we have done uh, the most with our given code.